Welcome to Paddy's Pub. I'm here today to talk to you about Pusser's Rum. In honour of my late granddad, I've developed a couple of cocktails for you to try at home. One is a really simple cocktail that anyone can make at home. The other one's quite complicated um, and it's going to sit on my specials board here in Paddy's Pub for as long as I have this place. Pusser's Rum is a navy rum uh, with a rich naval history hence why my granddad loved it so much. It's the original recipe, dated back 350 years, and is a blend of five different aged Caribbean rums. No artificial colouring is added to it, so it's, it's a product of high integrity. So let's begin and I'll show you the first cocktail. Right, cocktail I'm going to be making for you guys um, is called the Dark and Stormy. It's a nice easy cocktail to make, classic cocktail, really nice way for you to enjoy this pasta's rum. It doesn't have any super exotic ingredients in. You can use any glass, sort of glass you like. You can use a highball glass, you can use a rocks glass. I'm using this wine goblet here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's on, this cocktail is set on the rocks. So add your rocks to your glass. I'm using a Boston shaker. You can use whatever you like. You can use whatever um, you like. You can use a, a mixing flask. You can even build it in the glass as long as you mix it. As long as you mix it up nicely. So just ice the glass, ice the shaker even, and then we build it in the glass part. So it's like I say, really easy cocktail. Um, all you've got is. You've got some simple syrup. Uh, I'm using half measures because I'm using a smaller glass. So if you're using a highball glass, I'd recommend, I'd recommend that you double these measures up. So it's half a shot of simple syrup, 20 ml of lime juice, and then a single measure Single measure of the pusses, lovely job mate. And then I'm using Angostura bitters in this. Um, it's optional for you, and not every, I appreciate not everyone else has Angostura bitters, but I think it really adds a different dimension to the drink. So a few dashes of Angostura. Shake over ice. Pour into the glass. And then all you want to do is top it with some nice ginger ale. Ginger ale, not ginger beer. Ginger beer is a bit too gingery, so it's, it is ginger ale. So top that with ginger ale. Give it a lime wedge, nice little lime twist, garnish. And there you have it. The Dark and Stormy, a lovely way for you to enjoy your pus as well. Right, and then finally, we've got our last cocktail, which I've called Bops Grog. It's a tiki style cocktail, although it's not terribly difficult to make, it's got some quite exotic ingredients in that not everyone's gonna have in their home bar. However, I'd love for you to come down to Paddy's Pub and try this drink with me. Um, it's a tiki style cocktail, it's made, um, so tiki style cocktails are served over crushed ice. They tend to be on the stronger side, and then as you're drinking it, the ice melts into the drink and waters the drink down a little bit. I serve it in a, in a mule glass. So I filled that with crushed ice. Then we've got, and then we build it in a shaker as before. Right, so we've got, going into this drink, we've got 25 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. 25 mils of pineapple juice. 
So the sweet balancing out the sour there. Then we've got half a fresh passion fruit going in. Half a fresh passion fruit going in. And then booze wise, um, we've got liquor 43, which is a Spanish liqueur. It's, um, it's quite sweet. Got nice notes of vanilla in. So you've got 12 and a half mils of that. And then you've got 12 and a half mils of creme de cassis, French black currant liqueur. 12 and a half mils of that. Um, and then you want a good measure of pusses. Nice double measure of pusses there. And then finally, a couple of dashes of Angostura. Right, shake over ice. Right, be careful these shakers catch me out all the time. Right, strain into your meal glass. And then top a little bit of soda water. And then garnish wise, we've got your obligatory a couple of pineapple leaves. Um, and now my, my granddad always had green fingers. It's one other thing I, I associate with him. So I'm gonna put some, some foliage into the cocktail. Let's see if we can, we've got our, like I say, just wanna make it nice and green. Right. Now we're serving this on a board to make it look extra special. And then finally, another thing I associate with my granddad um, in terms of, especially in terms of booze, my grandparents is sherry. Um, it's the first piece of alcohol I ever sipped was a sherry around my nan's. So um, I've got a, cask, a sherry cask whiskey here. I was going to pour into the into my passion fruit, and then we're going to light it. Hopefully, not burn the place down. Not for some reason, it's not lighting. There we go. And that signifies. Obviously my granddad's spirit burning on. And then on the side what we do is we're just gonna do a little shot of the pusses on ice. So you can enjoy that on its own. So there you have it. It's box grog. Tiki style cocktail, lots of flavours going on, um, sweet and sour, nice, nicely balanced, and then uh, with a little bit of showmanship as well.